what are some of the education mythologies that you find challenging? One of the biggest, and it's it was a question that, that I asked uh, just before I signed my name on the dotted line of my contract, <laughs> which was to say, you know, where is where is the structure? What mm. does that what does that look like? And for me, it was where does freedom meet structure? Mm. Where do the two where do the two meet one another? And it is it is challenging because freedom can look a lot of different ways. And mm. that means that there's there's unfortunately we have to throw out the idea that one size fits all. Each student, each family, each teacher, each faculty member, each board member has a different need for the the amount of freedom and structure Mm. that's going to enable them to define their own success. And so the communal aspect is incredibly important because I think in order to, to meet the challenges of how much freedom and structure to provide, you have to get to know the person deeply as related to what work you want to get done together. Mm -hmm. And that takes presence. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world, where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.